Welcome back to Monroe Live, everybody. Today we have Kirk Miller with Hypercraft, and we're here at their booth at the Electrify Expo in Long Beach, California. They have two vehicles here. This one reminds me of what I used to race. So I raced uh, small micro sprints in Nebraska. So seeing this welded frame with this type of suspension uh, kind of brings me back to my childhood. And Kirk's going to run me through what this vehicle is and what that amazing rock crawler is and kind of let us know what's going on. So sure. what do we got going on here, Kirk? So th this vehicle is actually a, a very special vehicle. This is a collab between Hypercraft and a company called Sierra Cars. And this is actually called the Sierra Echo. This vehicle in particular that we're looking at right now is gonna be running up Pike Peak June 25th and Lucy Block will be the pilot of this vehicle, Ken Block's uh, wife, oh. like Ken Block's wife. So this is a very special tribute that we're part of. We're really excited. We just announced this yesterday at a press conference. Um, but the vehicle itself, the Sierra car chassis, as you mentioned, is a full welded tube chassis, purpose built. And what's really unique about this, you talk about sprint car, this is a multidiscipline race car. So it can be used for road racing, something like I just mentioned, Pikes Peak. It can be used for off-road, yeah. short course, sand, dirt, recreational, you name it, with 10 inches of wheel travel. Uh, it's got long travel suspension. And then with the Hypercraft drivetrain that we have in it, that's where it gets really exciting because of the power levels that we're able to obtain. Yeah, is that what, what you kind of bring to the table is the drivetrain, the powertrain? Correct. So Hypercraft, uh, our company, we actually design and engineer end-to-end -end drivetrain. Yeah, is this set over here? These are the primary components that we're, so we're always trying to increase the level of education at the consumer level or the builder level because this is all so new. So all the primary drive devices we put on display. So when we talk about an inverter, you know, or a contactor box or battery packs or the motor itself, people begin to understand, you know, what the components actually look like. And then we share what they do. So for your inverter, are you using silicon uh, chips or silicon carbide? Cur currently just silicon right now. Okay. Uh, one of the other components of an EV conversion like we do is trying to keep the cost down. Yeah. And the silicon carbide, you know, it, it gets pricey quick. Yeah. And then for your motor, internal permanent magnet, are you using rare earth or uh, just regular ferrous? C across the board, depending on the application. We typically use, uh, we're partnered up with Dana on the Ultra 4. Um, and in this case, this is a Cascadia uh, IM225. Uh, yeah. And for the batteries, what uh, form factor? Are they prismatic? Are they pouch? Are they, cell, are they uh, cylindrical? Cell, yeah, they're cylindrical cells in this case. 2170s, um, 18650s? 2170s. Okay. Right. And I'm they asking, have a, yeah, yeah, I'm asking no, the questions our viewers are interested in. They that's want to that's know. great. Yeah. That's great. So this is these are liquid cooled, uh, so thermal, thermal management across the board. So warming and cool, chilling, yeah. uh, depending on the environment that it's running in. The 2170s is what we're using in this case. There's a uh, flame retardant high density cell foam injected into these nice. uh, before closing because they are used in motorsports. So Vive and, and weight, you know, are both concerns and also as a flame retardant in the event of something really bad happening. Yeah, I can tell you're using high-end connectors too. That looks like Amphenol connectors. Yes, so correct. only the best here. If we, that, well, when you're doing stuff like this, it's got, it's got to stay together. Yeah. yeah. So that's a really cool car. Now do we want to come over and talk about this? It seems like you've gotten a ton of use out of this. This I is, said rock yeah. crawler because, oh my gosh, look at that. It it's is. Amazing. So this is, it's an Ultra 4 rock crawler. You can see she's weathered. And what's really, really cool about this is this was a, an idea of the founder of King of the Hammers, yeah. um, Dave Cole, approached Hypercraft knowing that we're building drivetrains yeah. for all these different types of vehicles and said, you know, I, I have this vision of building an EV Ultra 4 class. So n let's yeah. not start small. Let's just go right to the top. Yeah. Right. So Dave's vision shared with us, we went to the drawing board, created a package, put it into this. We worked with Dana and AEM, uh, AEMEV. Dana, this is an 800 volt system versus the 400 volt. This is just under 900 foot pounds of torque. But as you know, with electric control, you have really good manipulation of torque. So this is a vehicle that had a 10 year pedig pedigree as an internal combustion powered vehicle. So Dave knew what it was capable of and what it wasn't capable of. The really exciting part is like when it was all done and he's, we got it dialed in and he started driving and checking. He said, okay, this feels, feels pretty good. What's he do? He goes to the, a hill that he's never been able to get up. First pass makes it up as an EV. So that was, I mean, like for him, that was the ultimate validation. Like, can it be, can it be an improvement? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so for this, where you put the batteries, where you put the inverters and, and, the, and the motors, 
it's actually really important for weight balance. So we're able to achieve a similar weight balance. This is the yes. internal combustion engine version. Yes. Yeah, because yes. I see some, looks like some batteries in the back and then some electronics in the front. So probably yep. and, and batteries out front as well. Yeah, so we, yeah, we tried to get the perfect 50-50 on it and try to keep them as low as possible, but still maintaining all the ground clearance required for something as harsh as this. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. So where, where do you see the industry going with applications like this? So these are, this is kind of a conversion. Um, do you ever see a future where you have purpose-built vehicles where you can take your technology and then instead of you know retrofitting an existing uh, vehicle, would you ever go into the vehicle space? Or are you just focused on the driveline? Power, no, power system? Um, well, we're, we're hyper-focused on the drivetrain system. So the, the, sort of the impetus you know, for Hypercraft is the, the co-founder, his name is Jake Hawks, Hawksworth, he was trying to build an e-ski. And his idea was to introduce an electric snowmobile. So his idea was like he had the concept, he had the drawings, had the chassis, he was a great chassis setup guy, a motocross guy. And he was trying to cross that over into the snow, snow market, but he couldn't find a, a complete package. So as a result of not being able to find that, I said, well, if there's no package available, how are people gonna do this? So how does the conversion market, how does the motor spark it, how does the hot rod market, how do these people make the transition without having to engineer their own system? So our idea is to bring a completely engineered package that is designed to meet the user's needs. Whether it's fleet, whether it's mining, whether it's watercraft, whether it's Sierra car, whether it's ultra, it doesn't matter. We'll just design the package and then it's up to them to upfit it into the vehicle or we could do upfits ourselves so they have a complete package for a bolt-in package. Yeah. Wow, that's that's pretty that's pretty good strategy there. Well, <laughs> it's no small undertaking. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So is there anything else you'd want our viewers to to understand? Or did you run through everything you wanted uh, today? No, I think um, you know this is it's an exciting space. Um, I'm I'm an internal combustion guy like you. I'm a, I'm a racer. I grew up racing, uh, and this uh, if if you can get exposure to it, meaning get your butt in the seat and drive one of these things, uh, a lot of people will forget about the lack of sound in a race car and be focused on the hyper performance that can be benefited. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for this run through, Kirk. I appreciate really it. appreciate it. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, you for tuning in, everybody. The Electrify Expo here in Long Beach is actually pretty cool. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm pretty impressed with the quality of uh, booths here and technology on display. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.